In this video, I'll be showing you the Recollector app. The Recollector app is a smartphone app that runs on the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and on the iPad. And it's a companion to Recollector, the program that runs on the Mac or the PC that lets you catalog your own personal collections. But with the Recollector app, which is a free download from the Apple iTunes App Store, you can take your collection data with you on the road. Let me start up the Recollector app here on this iPod Touch to show you how it works. The first time you start the Recollector app, the only collection you'll see is the sample data collection that comes with the app. But once you've downloaded your own collection data to the device, you'll see your collection listed there. Today I'm going to look at my map collection. When the collection initially opens, it's shown as a list. It shows all the items in your collection and you can scroll up and down to browse to look for particular items. In addition, to look at any one item, you can select it and you see the item details. You see all the detailed items for the collection. Looking back at the list, the list doesn't show all of the fields. It only shows up to three fields that you select from your collection database. In this case, in my map collection, I'm showing the ID number field, the map maker field, and the title field. But you can change that. Let me show you how. I'll click Options. I'll click Select List Fields. Now let's say instead of showing the ID number, I want to look at the date of a map. I can select Date. Click OK. And now you see that each element in the list first shows a date and then map maker and title as before. You can also change the order in which the elements in the list are shown, the sort order. And to do that, you again click options, but now you choose sort. You then select the field you want to sort by. Let's sort by date. So I'll pick date, I'll choose ascending order, and I'll click OK. And now you'll see that the dates which are shown at the beginning of each entry, they're ordered from the earliest date on through later dates. Let's look at the item details for a record. Let's choose a particular record. You see there the images that you have associated with the record, shown as a thumbnail, and you see also all of the specific data that you have collected using Recollector, it all is brought over to the Recollector app. You'll notice that there's some hyperlinks here, um, blue underlined items. I'll show you what those are. Um, this one is a footnote style hyperlink. In this case, I use it for a bibliographical citation. So I click on it, it shows me the citation, and I can dismiss it. Down here at the bottom, there's another kind of hyperlink. This is a hyperlink that lets you jump from one record to an associated record. So record number 11 can be jumped to by simply clicking on that hyperlink. And now notice there's a back button. I click back and I'm brought back to the record I was on before. Now the images themselves are hyperlinks. Let's click on this image. And this brings up an image viewer in which you can look at an image in full resolution, or you can zoom it down or zoom it back up. But whatever resolution you've scanned your images in, that imagery is available to you on the app. So let's return to item details. And let's go back to the list. One of the things that you often want to do is to find particular records in your collection. And let me show you how you do that. Let's click the Find button. Let's say I want to look at I want to find records that have the word Mercator, the famous Dutch cartographer, in it. So let's click what I want to search for, and I will type in Mercator. And I will click Search. And this brings me to a record. And if I scroll on the record, where Mercator is found in that data is shown. There's also a Find Next button which if I click it, brings me to the next record that has the word Mercator in it, and so forth and so on. 
Similar to searching and finding records is subsetting records. And let me show you how that works. Let's go back to the list and let's click the subset button. When you subset, you're asking to reduce the list from its full size to just some group of records, a subset of records that meet some criterion. Let's say in this case, my criterion is similar to what I just searched for. It's Mercator. But let's say I want to find all the maps in my collection that were actually made by Mercator. So first let's type in Mercator again. But now I will say I want to match not all fields, but specifically the map maker field. Let's click subset. And now the list is reduced down to just four items because there are just four maps in this collection that are actually by Mercator. Notice there's now also a subset off button, which if I click on it, brings me back to the full list. Let's go back for a second to the select collection window, the first window that we saw. When you download a new collection to your iPhone or iPad or iPod, it won't necessarily show up here immediately if you're already running the app. But if you click Options and you click Rescan for Collection Files, the app will look for new collections that you've downloaded and any that you have will now show up and can be selected and you can start to work with them. So that's an introduction to the Recollector app.